On Saturday, India came to the rescue of OneWeb, launching 36 OneWeb satellites on a GSLV Mark III rocket for the first time. Sarupratham, do S200 Chapon booster ka prajolan hoga. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Plus five seconds. P3 tracking. P1 tracking. Stop normal. Bhavya Thapan, LVM3, One Web, India One Mission ka. Normal lift off and an enchantingly beautiful sight of the twin S200 boosters burning, saluted against the night sky. An enchantingly beautiful sight, indeed. So, uh, OneWeb has had a rocky road. And not the ice cream, but their, their uh, path to their current state. Founded in the UK in 2012 with the plan to create a constellation of nearly 700 internet satellites in low Earth orbit, they had their first launch of six satellites in 2019 from French Guiana. In March 2020, though, having launched just 74 satellites, OneWeb filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, citing the financial impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, the timing was curious, though, because the pandemic was just getting started in March of 2020. In any case, they laid off 85% of their 500 employees. Four months later, a consortium led by the UK government and India-based business conglomerate Bharti Global won the auction to purchase OneWeb. The sale was completed four months after that in November. Launches resumed shortly thereafter and continued until February of 2022. Thus far, all OneWeb launches had been provided by Roscosmos on its Soyuz rockets, lifting off from Vostochny, Baikonur, and French Guiana. After the Russian invasion of Ukraine, however, Russia retali retaliated against the UK's sanctions by refusing to launch more OneWeb satellites and also refusing to refund the launch costs, which had already been paid. A batch of OneWeb satellites were literally sitting on top the, of the rocket on the launch pad at Baikonur, waiting to be launched. Roscosmos covered up the flags on their former international the flags of their former international partners on the rocket, the US, UK, France, South Korea, and Japan. Only the Indian flag was left, as they have close ties to Russia and remained neutral regarding the Ukraine conflict. The then director of Roscosmos, Dmitry Rogozin, who has since been fired, uh, tweeted, The launchers at Baikonur decided that without the flags of some countries, our rocket would look more beautiful. Uh, OneWeb was forced to seek out alternate launch partners. They made agreements with both SpaceX and ISRO, the Indian Space Agency. Seven months after being snubbed by Roscosmos, OneWeb launches resumed on Saturday, courtesy of ISRO. Here is one of the satellite separations sped up, bit, sped up a bit. अभी अभी घोषणा की कि की गई कि अन्य समूह 1A, 3A, 5A तथा 7A सफलतापूर्वक अंतर्क्षेपित कर दिए गए हैं। अगली घटना में 2B, 4B, 6B तथा 8B नामक उपग्रहों को अंतर्क्षेपित किया जाना है। So the de deployment was carried out in multiple phases. They launched, they uh, released, I think, uh, four satellites at a time, multiple times. But uh, so, to date, 462 OneWeb satellites have been launched. At least three more launches by SpaceX and one by ISRO are planned for the coming months. Someone in the live chat asked why SpaceX would launch OneWeb satellites since they're a competitor service to Starlink. Regardless of what the satellites will be used for, a paying customer is a paying customer. SpaceX isn't going to turn down $67 million in revenue. Besides, if they don't launch the satellites, somebody else will. <laughs> 